Greetings. I'm Sutton Arbass. I'm a patent attorney in New Orleans. I've been in the intellectual property business since 1982 when I worked as a patent examiner in the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office in Washington, D.C. I hope that you find this video useful. It's the information that you'll find in this video is designed to make you aware of issues in intellectual property law. Um, as always, there are exceptions to every rule, so you should consult with a patent attorney uh, for, for issues relating to your particular intellectual property. <clears throat> what should a non-U.S. business that wants to enter the U.S. market do to protect its intellectual property and avoid infringing the intellectual property of others? Primarily, the business will need to consider trademarks and patents. It's best to hire a patent attorney in its home country to help it consider its intellectual property issues and to find patent attorneys in the U.S. to help with these issues in the U.S. Unlike most countries, the U.S. recognizes trademark rights obtained by use and trademark rights obtained by registration. In most countries, rights can be obtained only by registration. Thus, it will be helpful to search both the trademark records of the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office and to conduct internet searches to see whether the trademarks used in the home country of the company or other trademarks desired to be used are already in use. If not, it would be prudent to file a U.S. federal trademark application for each trademark desired to be used. If the company is expanding into other countries as well, the easiest way to attempt to secure registrations in all countries of interest, including the U.S., is through an international trademark application filed through the Madrid Protocol. Any registrations owned by the company in its country of origin can be used as a basis to file through the Madrid Protocol. Over 120 countries are members of the Madrid Protocol. Patents are another consideration for companies who are expanding into the U.S. If there are any pending patent applications with priority dates less than one year, the company should consider filing U.S. patent applications claiming priority of those applications. If there are any inventions which have been kept secret or have been commercialized for less than a year, the the company should consider filing a U.S. patent application. Unlike most other countries, the U.S. has a one-year grace period for activities done by the inventor or by others who learned of the invention from the inventor. In contrast, most countries have a requirement of absolute novelty before a patent application is filed. All patent rights are typically lost in those countries if any non-confidential disclosure is made of the invention prior to filing a patent application or if any commercialization is made prior to filing of a patent application. Thus, businesses in other countries can obtain patents in the U.S. after it is too late to file patent applications in other countries. If there are no pending patent applications with priority dates less than one year old, no inventions which have been kept secret or have been commercialized for less than a year, then the business should consider improving the product somehow and filing new provisional patent applications on the improved products. A full U.S. patent application can be filed a year later. If there are no pending patent applications with priority dates less than one year, no inventions which have been kept secret or have been commercialized for less than a year, and there are no prospects for improving products, the company should consider ex exclusive distributorship agreements with partners in the U.S. for existing products of the company. Patent clearance searches can be performed to help discover any patent rights that might be infringed by selling the company's products in the U.S. Many free databases exist which allow electronic searching of U.S. patents and published U.S. patent applications. While the business may be able to do some searching on its own, 
it is best to hire a U.S. patent attorney to perform this task. More information about intellectual property can be obtained from me at uh, the contact information shown on the slide. I hope this information has been useful to you. Thank you for watching the video.